it's not impossible. This particular mindset has been the driving force behind SpaceX revolutionary advances, such as successfully landing a rocket booster on a drone ship. Until now, this technique has only been applied to the Falcon 9 rocket, with no examples of it being used on the Falcon Heavy. SpaceX is setting its sights higher by successfully landing two Falcon Heavy boosters on a drone ship. This is an audacious goal that has the potential to change the boundaries of space travel. What motivated SpaceX to pursue this bold approach? And what are its future prospects? Let's discuss more in today's episode of NR Studio. Achieving the feat of landing a rocket booster on a drone ship is one of SpaceX's most groundbreaking advances. This approach has facilitated rapid reuse of Falcon 9 boosters, significantly reducing launch costs and improving hardware recovery. However, the Falcon Heavy, which operates on a much more complex design, has yet to apply this method to its side boosters. While SpaceX boosters have returned to base and landed in designated landing zones, they have not successfully landed on a drone ship. That situation may change in the near future. Falcon Heavy consists of a central core, along with two additional side boosters, for a total of three boosters in its design. Typically, the side boosters are successfully retrieved and reused, with all landing back on solid ground. The central core, which travels farther and survives more intense re-entry conditions, is rarely retrieved. Given the challenging nature of its flight profile, attempts to retrieve the core by landing it on a drone ship have often failed or been excluded from mission strategy altogether. The question is, why don't the side boosters return to the drone ship? The explanation is rooted in the principle of resource management. The Falcon Heavy mission would require the use of both of SpaceX drone ships located on the East Coast for the purpose of retrieving the side boosters. Currently, they are temporarily suspended from participating in Falcon 9 missions. Given SpaceX frequent launch schedule, scheduling constraints have arisen. Utilizing both drone ships for a single Falcon Heavy launch limits the company's operational flexibility. Nonetheless, the concept of retrieving side boosters on a drone ship remains an attractive prospect. This development would facilitate a wider range of launch profiles while opening up terrestrial landing zones for alternative operations. New internal concept images from SpaceX have emerged, depicting an ambitious proposal in which both Falcon Heavy side boosters would land simultaneously on a single drone ship. This innovative approach has the potential to greatly improve the efficiency of recovery logistics. John Edwards, who serves as Vice President of Falcon and Dragon programs at SpaceX, has verified that the concept is currently being seriously evaluated, especially for missions involving landings in remote locations. This is more than just conceptual art. It's a viable engineering opportunity. The obstacles remain significant, however. According to Edwards, the chances of losing one or two side thrusters and causing damage to the drone ship increase significantly. Achieving the feat of landing a thruster on a moving platform presents significant challenges. Achieving a landing of two objects, whether done simultaneously or in a staggered approach, involves a much greater level of complexity. A number of technical challenges arise. One aspect to consider is the physical environment. The thrusters must be positioned far enough apart from each other to prevent potential collisions, while also being close enough together to fit on the deck. Another factor is the interfering influence of engine thrust. During landing, each thruster fires its Merlin 1D engine, producing an impressive 190,000 pounds of thrust. The exhaust trail has the potential to destabilize adjacent thrusters. Timing is also of significant importance. If landings are not performed simultaneously, the second thruster must remain in the air for an extended period of time, increasing fuel requirements and complicating flight control. Inadequate management of the second landing could disrupt the first landing, especially if exhaust from the second landing strikes the landing platform or boosters that have already landed. The weather at NC State has added to the uncertainty. Equipped with heavy dual boosters, the drone is highly susceptible to wave action and wind conditions, which could compromise its stability after landing. Several elements contribute to the increased risk of an already bold undertaking. However, if any organization is equipped to meet such a challenge, it is undoubtedly SpaceX. The company has consistently changed the standards of the aerospace industry by employing a variety of innovative techniques. These include vertical booster landings, retrieving them from the ocean, and most recently utilizing its impressive Mechazilla arm to capture the massive Super Heavy booster. 
Landing two Falcon boosters simultaneously on a single drone could be the next major milestone in space exploration. Significant improvements will be needed before this vision can be realized. SpaceX will need to improve the structural integrity of its drones to withstand the impacts and loads associated with simultaneous landings. The development of its spacecraft and control systems will require improvements to achieve tighter tolerances and facilitate real-time coordination. Current flight simulations and models are set to help SpaceX optimize the descent profile by taking into account the effects of interference in platform dynamics. Implementing these improvements will take some time, but SpaceX has the luxury of time. As Edwards noted, no upcoming missions require these capabilities, giving the company the flexibility to develop and evaluate the system at a comfortable pace. If the effort proves successful, the benefits could be significant. Initially, this strategy would allow SpaceX to retrieve both side boosters using a single drone, leaving the other drone available for possible deployment with the Falcon Heavy core stage. Successful retrieval of all three boosters would mark a significant advance in rocket reusability. Currently, Falcon Heavy sensor cores are frequently lost. Having a second drone ship significantly improves the chances of a successful center core retrieval. Additionally, this approach would help SpaceX reduce launch scheduling conflicts. The two drone ships located on the East Coast often experience significant demand for Falcon I recovery operations. By concentrating Falcon Heavy side booster landings on a single drone ship, SpaceX could ensure a more consistent launch schedule from Cape Canaveral, specifically from Launch Complex 40. According to Edwards, using one drone ship for each booster is a more strategic option in the short term. However, this approach does come with constraints on overall operational flexibility. Implementing a dual landing strategy could potentially increase flight frequency while maintaining booster recovery integrity. Third, there are financial benefits. The current price tag for a Falcon Heavy mission is around $150 million. However, successfully recovering all three boosters has the potential to lower repair and replacement costs, which could lead to lower overall costs. Increasing the rocket's competitiveness against competitors such as Blue Origin's New Glenn and Yole Vulcan. In scenarios involving substantial payloads or unconventional orbits, Falcon Heavy demonstrates its superior capabilities. Full reusability of hardware across such missions would give SpaceX a significant competitive advantage in terms of cost efficiency. It's not just Falcon Heavy that would benefit from this situation. With increased launch frequency, SpaceX could face a situation where two Falcon 9 missions are scheduled to take off back-to-back, -back, requiring ocean landings for both flights. The introduction of a single drone ship designed to retrieve two boosters could significantly simplify mission coordination. This advancement is particularly useful in scenarios where a second drone ship is unavailable or out of service for maintenance purposes. This functionality would align with strategic Starlink launches as SpaceX continues to deploy additional satellites for its broadband network. The company must ensure that its boosters are promptly refurbished for the next mission. Innovations in recovery that minimize drone ship downtime and optimize logistics will play a critical role in achieving ambitious deployment goals. It's important to emphasize that while this idea is promising, it is still not common. A dual landing strategy carries significant risks one of which is the potential loss of hardware and recovery systems. SpaceX openness to exploring the concept illustrates its overall philosophy of embracing calculated risks to drive significant progress. Historically, this mindset has fueled significant accomplishments, such as early booster landings and complete mission reuse. This may represent a significant step forward in progress. Ultimately, successfully landing two Falcon boosters on a single drone ship is more than just a technical challenge. It marks a bold step forward in the pursuit of more efficient and scalable space travel. SpaceX, renowned for its ability to tackle challenging problems without pressing deadlines, is in a strong position to proceed with due diligence and ensure the accuracy of its efforts. If the efforts prove successful, the impact will reverberate not only within the organization, but also across the space industry. As we look toward a series of increasingly bold endeavors, from lunar exploration to Mars colonization, successful booster recovery will be a critical element. When the day comes when two Falcon boosters land simultaneously on a single floating platform in the Atlantic, it will not only be a stunning sight, it will be a symbol of the relentless pursuit of progress. Are you ready to witness the unfolding events? 
If the prospects ahead have you excited, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay in the loop. As SpaceX continues to advance, it is relentlessly expanding the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of space travel. Based on the points mentioned above, it is clear that the ongoing improvements made to Falcon Heavy are progressively increasing the capabilities and potential of SpaceX's most formidable operational rocket. Despite having completed only 11 flights since its launch in 2018, each mission has demonstrated outstanding performance and increased strategic significance. Who could forget that incredible maiden flight? It was a historic moment when a Tesla Roadster, piloted by Starman, was launched into orbit. The event represented more than just a marketing success. It also served as a powerful demonstration of confidence in its engineering prowess. Falcon Heavy has successfully completed a number of important missions, proving its worth beyond the media coverage it receives. The company has successfully deployed critical payloads for the U.S. military, placed large commercial satellites into geostationary orbit, and launched scientific expeditions into space. Notable accomplishments include supporting NASA Psyche mission, currently en route to a metal-rich asteroid, in addition to preparations for an upcoming mission targeting Jupiter's moon Europa. To date, every Falcon Heavy launch has been a success, cementing its reputation as one of the most reliable heavy lift rockets in operation. Falcon Heavy's importance is expected to grow even further in the future. Later this year, it will play a role in lunar exploration efforts under NASA Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. In partnership with Astrobotic, the Falcon Heavy rocket will deliver the Griffin lander to the lunar South Pole. The initiative, dubbed Griffin-1, will carry the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, commonly abbreviated as VIBER. The mission plays a critical role in NASA ongoing efforts to explore and analyze lunar water ice. The upcoming Griffin-2 mission, set for 2026, will further enhance Falcon Heavy role in America's lunar exploration efforts. The mission is particularly important because it will lay the groundwork for Artemis III, which is expected to facilitate a crewed lunar landing in 2027. Falcon Heavy makes significant contributions to national security. Under the National Security Space Launch Phase II contract awarded by the U.S. Space Force, a total of seven missions are planned for 2027. These missions will be responsible for launching payloads for the U.S. Space Force, USSF, and the National Reconnaissance Office, NRO. These operations play a critical role in ensuring national security and supporting satellite systems, underscoring SpaceX's expanding position as a reliable launch services provider for the U.S. government. In the future, Falcon Heavy is anticipated to play a critical role in executing more missions as part of Phase 3 of the National Security Space Launch NSSL program. While Falcon 9 and Starship will make significant contributions, Falcon Heavy's proven performance underscores Falcon Heavy's continued importance to the space industry. In addition to its critical role in military and lunar operations, Falcon Heavy has a number of significant NASA initiatives ahead of its schedule. Upcoming major missions include the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope launch, the Dragonfly Helicopter Expedition to Titan, the Dragon XL Cargo Transport for the Lunar Gateway, and the Power and Propulsion Element, PPE, and Halo module associated with the Gateway. However, the latter has the potential to be rescheduled or delayed. As launch frequency increases, SpaceX must consider the possibility of landing multiple boosters on a single drone ship. This is a multifaceted challenge that requires extensive refinement and testing. However, the potential benefits for Falcon Heavy, as well as the broader implications for reusability, are significant. With so many missions coming up, it is possible that we could see these efforts take shape in the next year or two. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one, and thank you for your support.